stay tuned. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, this is Amade, I'm back and today we're gonna talk about some tips that helped me a lot to grow my Instagram. I grew my account to 1000 followers in three and a half months and I'm just gonna share with you some things that helped me the most to do that and it's actually really crazy for me that I am the one making this video because when I started my Instagram all I wanted to do is record my art progress, make some friends and I was just hoping in my wildest dream that I would even grow or anyone would be interested because I was new to digital art but I am so blessed and happy that I took a leap of faith and started an Instagram and that I did all the things that I'm still doing today every day to grow and I'm gonna share with you so stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> oh my god okay tip number one make sure that your feed reflects everything with colors and shapes and your words in your bio that people who wander on your page would be able to have the cleanest picture of who you are and what you're making in less than a second yeah that's super crazy but think about what makes you excited what one do you want from for people to know about you so in my case what i do is i put in the first line that i do youtube because i really am um, wanting to share more about myself in videos on my youtube channel so i include that in the first line and then also i want people to know about me where i live and where i'm from i'm from hungary and i live in hawaii so both of those places are a big part of my personality and the things that i love sunshine and the ocean but i'm also um, speak multiple languages and my hometown is very far <laughs> it's 12 hours actually 12 time zone hours so we're literally in the different sep like the opposite part of the globe from where i was born to where i live right now and i want people to know that about me because that might resonate with them i know a lot of people nowadays live in different countries than where they're from and you know there are challenges with that and there are beauty in that so I put that all in my bio and then above below that is the highlights so for your highlights make sure it's organized make sure you make like a little highlight brand cover for your highlights so it looks polished and that also reflects the same colors as your your favorite colors so for me that's blue pink and yellow it's kind of the sunset colors I really really love the sunset and I think it's so magical, especially here now in Hawaii. I'm so blessed to experience it every time we go to the beach. And actually, that's on my shirt right now. It's Ariel in the sunset. So pink, yellow, and then the blue, the water is pink right now too. But um, so just the magical bright colors is that what I love. And I want that to be make it really clear on my page and also on my YouTube. And then for your feet, think about a good way to organize it where you can easily post every time you draw something and still match your feet so the very first thing you should look at with that is what kind of colors did you post the last time and then how could you match that with something resonating the same color in the next piece that you're making so if you're really serious about making your feet look good then sometimes you have to just say no to random drawings and don't post them unless they kind of match the vibe and for that I use preview which is an Instagram feed planner and it's really cool because I can arrange things and see how it will look like and it's also super fun because I know the next thing that I will draw it has a purpose and it's gonna fit my feet and recently I started doing line art full piece line art full piece so just one of each and that it actually really helps if your background is white on the liner that it matches really prettily the colorful images that are next to it because white matches everything as we know so it's always gonna make your feed look organized if you post a lot of white but just have to decide if that's what you want and then for your profile picture so think about the tiny icon if you comment on every every anyone's picture or you post any or you show up in their notifications if you have your best work that has the your favorite colors and everything it tells as much about you as possible then it's more likely that they will check out your profile when they see the notification or your comment and i chose this princess with the flower crown that i drew based on my friend 
and it has flowers, it has pink, it has girls, and I think it fits really well of um, what I love. And so. then the second tip, I think that Instagram really is put up of two things, make your profile look good and then also be friendly and kind and appreciate all the work that your friends and other people you follow put into their Instagram. So what super duper helped me is to just look for people that I love their artwork genuinely and made me excited and feature them a lot on my story and show them gratitude and just think about it in a way that give on a way that you would want to receive so what you expect from others to do when they see your artwork comment on it like it share it any of those things do the same for them so if your their feed pops up on their, your on your story just be like oh my god this is amazing if you genuinely love it tell them and take the time to leave a comment take the time to share it and this actually also really boosts the algorithm so instagram kind of monitors what you're doing and how much you're interacting with others and if they see that you're active, then they're gonna feature you more and they're gonna also help the other person get featured more. So it's just how it works, I guess. I mean, I kind of like Instagram's theory of encouraging activity and like and sharing love, but you know, it only counts if it's genuine. So try to reflect on yourself and think about the things that makes you the most excited and you're genuinely happy um, about so that you can share that back to your friends and followers and just be active I spend about an hour to two hours on Instagram almost every day But if you check on your phone right now how much you spend on it right now You probably are somewhere close to just that number. I know on average people spend about three to four hours on their phone every day at least so just decide and then put in the time and effort and once you do these things, I guarantee that you're gonna grow more than before if you didn't do any of these and it really helped me um, and I would also really appreciate if this video helped you then if you put in the comments um, what was the most, the most uh, valuable information for you and connect with me on Instagram I would love to talk to you and see your art and give you feedback or just be friends so thank you so much for being here I'll see you next time Mwah.